Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Yates, and I'd like to give you a few quick tips on using a protractor that might help with your homework. So here are some important terms. Obviously this is our protractor, and we've got all of the numbers that you need to know for measuring degrees around the outside, but just be careful. Remember that the numbers go in both directions, right, depending on which way you're measuring the angle. Right? Look around the outside for all the little marks, the one, two, three, four, five divisions. Okay, And remember that acute angles are less than 90 degrees, so use the numbers from 0 to 90 for measuring acute angles, and the numbers from 90 to 180 for measuring the uh, larger or obtuse angles. Okay, I'm going to refer to this point in the middle here as the center of the protractor a lot of times. Okay, so right in that spot there we'll uh, often be calling the center. So I'll be saying, okay, line up the center of your protractor with that. All right, so that area in here is going to be the center. And there's a line here which I'll probably call the zero line a lot of times. All right, and that goes from basically 180 across the center there through the 180 and the zero out the other side. Okay, that's important to know. Here's your typical angle over here. This is angle D E F. Uh, point E is what we call the vertex. And remember, the vertex is an important spot. Okay, that vertex is where the two rays that make up the angle emanate from. Okay, so. What do we have for measuring angles here? Here's a normal acute angle. Take your protractor and bring it above the line that's horizontal. Usually one of the rays is horizontal, usually. And line up the zero line with that ray that's on the bottom or horizontal there. And then put the vertex at the center point of the protractor. Okay. Then think to yourself, is this an acute angle or an obtuse angle? Well, this is acute. You can see it's smaller than 90 degrees. It's less than 90 degrees. So let's read up from zero. Okay, So there we have 0 degrees, 5 degrees, 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So this is 40 degrees, or maybe even 39. As I mentioned to you in class, things aren't going to line up just perfectly all the time. All right, so even if I drew an angle or the book author drew an angle that's supposed to be 40 degrees, but you say 39 and somebody else says 41, we're going to allow one to two degrees leeway. So don't worry if it, it seems off by a tiny bit. Okay, so that's how you measure an acute angle. Let's go to an acute angle like you might see in your book. And it's small. Well, you do the same thing. You line the zero up and you line the vertex with the center of the protractor, but oh, drat. It might not be easy to read an angle like this. So what you're probably going to have to do is just extend the lines. Okay, so it's probably not a bad idea to get a ruler. I'm doing this freehand here, which is not the best. I'm sorry, but this is for, for quickness here. All right, so we're going to just extend those lines. I wonder if I can do this. Let's say, well, sometimes we get magical things happening. No? Okay. All right, so we're going to extend those lines with a ruler and your pencil, or hey, look, the bottom edge of the protractor is straight. You could use that. Anyway, line up the bottom ray with the zero mark, put the vertex at the center point, and then this is acute, so read up, and again, it's around 40 degrees. What happens when you have an obtuse angle? Well, same process. Look for that horizontal or bottom ray, line the zero line up with it, slide the protractor over until the vertex of the angle is at the center of the protractor, and then think to yourself, think, remember, look at this angle. Is it acute, right, or obtuse? Well, you're right. Yes, it's obtuse. It's a big one. It's over 90 degrees. So I should be looking here. I want to go is it 10 degrees? No. 20? No. 30? No. 40? 50? 60? 70? 80? 90? No. Keep going. 100. 110. 120. 130. This is 130 degrees, this angle. All right, so that is how you measure an obtuse angle. 
Now, drawing an angle is kind of fun. What you, you will probably want to have is the bottom of your protractor or a ruler. Either of those would, would be fine. Bottom, bottom of your protractor works really nicely. So you're going to draw a ray along the bottom. Okay, And then from the vertex, you're going to draw another ray. Well, how... What do you want it to be? Do you want to just do it freehand? Sure, you could do that, but what if you want it to be specific? Well, what you do is you put your protractor on the bottom ray there, line what will be the vertex up with the center of the protractor. Take your pen, pencil, make a dot where you want it to be. Like, let's say I want it to be 65 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, not to 70, halfway between there, 65. Put a dot there or a point as we say in geometry okay and then slide the protractor out of the way and draw your other ray through that point okay that way when somebody comes along to measure your angle it'll be 65 degrees just like you hoped it would be and there we are we're lining this up and come on mr Reese, you can do it you can get it lined up somehow ooh, ooh. all right my equipment's my smartboard stuff's not working too well there we go it's about 65 degrees just what i like to say all right well hopefully that gives you enough information for getting you through the homework if you have any questions come on in a little early tomorrow morning and i'll try and help you out good luck